Hi there and welcome to a channel new video. Today I have to show you a brand new release from Miniware, the TS1C. And this is a cordless soldering iron. I was really intrigued when they asked me to review this new product, even if we nowadays have a lot of USB powered soldering irons, they still require a lot of power to operate properly. So will a cordless soldering iron be able to keep up? Mm. Well, that's what we will figure it out during this video. As always, let me thank Miniware for their collaboration and sending this soldering iron free of charge for review. And you that sponsor this channel by using the affiliate product links in the description or the affiliate access links here in the screen. It is really appreciated to maintain this channel. Without further delay, let's melt some solder. Okay, so as always, uh, let me show you what is in the box, the unboxing. This is how this uh, product is delivered. It's a very nice retail box uh, with a lot of information and a very cool design. Let me show you. You can see that we have a 3.5 audio tips that's used on the TS80. And also it goes from 100 to 400 degrees. Yeah, PD to 45 watts input. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what's on the box. Uh, the box opens this way. So pretty cool. The, those guys really think in everything. We have a really big user manual with, uh, I think it's Chinese, English and Russian. Yeah. Okay, first language seems to be Chinese and then we have Russian or English. Yeah, we have ring English. It's a well-organized user manual. Yeah, it seems easy to read it. We have info symbols. Okay, I will take a look on this later. Yeah, so let's move. So in the box we have the tip with the 3.5 uh, mils plug. This is from the TS80 model. Let me put it here. We have a sponge to be mounted here on the base. Let me take it out. We have the base of this. As usual, they have a lot of options. It seems that we can have it on the left, on the right, or here in front, as you prefer. Okay, very nice. It seems to have a very good quality. Yeah, let's first take this out. Uh, well, first the soldering iron. No display on the soldering iron. It's just a button and two contacts. And obviously you have the Input. It seems to yeah, close very well. I think we have some magnetic, yeah, some magnetic uh, lock in here or something. So, yeah. And what else we have here? Okay. Let me see what is delivered. Uh, it's just the USB cable for charging. It's a very nice one. I have a few of these cables that came from Miniware. They are silicon, very flexible and very nice to use. So another one, it's really nice. Okay, I think that's all. Let me take, yeah, it, we don't have anything else. So let me take this out of your way and let's see the first impressions about this. Uh, well, it's very small as usual. That's a Miniware standard. You just connect here and you are done. You can put the, the, um, the sponge in the front, on the side or 
on the left side also oh you have the connectors for it it's a very small soldering station we have here let me show you two buttons as normal we have on the miniware products okay the a and b and a small knob for selection and probably temperature setting okay let's assemble this well we don't need much assemble but let's connect this and see how this works okay so let's start by assembling the sponge here the support for the sponge uh, I think I didn't uh, think this through because I already wet the sponge but anyway it seems okay as you can see pretty easy to to do you have these supports also that you can take out to to install it on the left or on the right you have anti-slippery rubber feet and that's it and we have it installed let me just take out the plastic protective plastic Ooh, this is always nice yeah very cool design and finally we have yeah that's it okay let's power this on it's searching for the device and he found the TS1CB650 650 okay it's connected by Bluetooth let's press B okay and now we will talk about the menus and what you can do with it okay let's start by talking about the display we have this normal small display of the miniware devices this is a little bigger than the for example the soldering iron but even so yeah so we have the power in the battery so the capacity this means that the battery is charging and when in standby this will tell you the temperature of the tip the bluetooth symbol indicates that this handle is connected to the station and you have two options that you can use uh, in here uh, a and b for a heating and b settings we will start by going to the settings menu and to change the options you just press several times the b and you have all the options okay until you get back to the normal menu to change the values you just use the knob this small knob it seems a bit fragile but yeah it's very sensible to work with what's next uh, we start by having the work temperature the preheat temperature that's the temperature then when you start the a heating he will set the handle to it then we have the slip temperature and the sleep time how much time it will take to enter the sleep temperature idle time and if you want to use celsius or fahrenheit and the temperature steps to how many degrees you should add or remove each time i like to to work with five degrees oops not six uh, let me go again like five degrees the backlight intensity okay let's move to five again and you have here the hardware version firmware version and so on and you are back to the main menu nothing fancy nothing special but it is yeah it is pretty good okay so when you enter the power option with a as you can see it's already drawing power 20 volts and it's taking the handle up to 250 that's the preheat temperature the work temperature is 300 degrees it's on this side 
and you have 20 volts now being used to power this device. This uh, soldering station uh, requires 44, 45 watts to work and you can see here that right now it says that the tip is hot. Okay, I will take the the tip of the yeah out of the handle. You have the communication with the handle. You have the information. Three hundred is the temperature. Let me change my from hand, and you can change the work temperature five degrees to a maximum of four hundred. Okay and to a minimum, oh, I believe, of uh, 100. Well, I will not go there because it will take me much time. But yeah, again, and 300. Let's see. As you can see right now, the temperature is increasing. Let's go there. And if I go back to 300, it shows the temperature decreasing. It always gives you information on the screen. So there is no much more things to show you here. We have this turbo button. If you press it, it will raise the temperature up to the maximum. Okay, 400. It is really fast to get there. Okay. And you can see that the battery is is hurting with the with this. Well, this one, this iron. Uh, or this handle has a proper way to put it in the stand. What we normally do is something like this. They say, really, don't do it. The proper way to do it is go like this. You enter vertically or horizontally, I don't know. Well, in this angle. And then you go forward. So avoid to do something like this. It will not be uh, advised by the miniware. So again, do like this and then go forward. Now it's the time to talk about this video sponsor, PCBWay. I always use PCBWay for creating my boards with a professional factory quality, as you saw in my millivolt voltage reference board. It is very cheap to manufacture your PCBs on PCBWay. You can manufacture 10 PCBs for only 5 bucks. How awesome is this? And it is pretty easy also. Just insert here the PCB dimensions and you'll have an instant code. So when you want a PCB, visit PCBWay to get your code. And if it is your first time ordering from PCBWay, you can use our access link for a $5 credit. And don't forget, they also have component assembly service, a 3D printing service and much more. Okay, we have the tip at 22 degrees Celsius. And the first test I'm, I'm going to do is the velocity to reach the working temperature or not that, but to the speed it will take to melt the solder on the tip. So this will be pretty easy to do. I don't think this will be under 8 seconds or even 20 seconds because this is a battery operated device. You have in here the temperature right now of the of the tip. So let's start heating and I will push the power button to see how much time it will, it will take. Let's put heating and time starts now. Okay, so in the screen you should have the results. Uh, I don't think it took so much as I was expecting. So, <laughs> pretty cool. And even the, the grip on your hand, it's really, really, really good. It doesn't have that anti-slip rubber that sometimes it's useful or some threading or something like that but it will it will handle pretty well in your hands yeah okay let's move on so if you see my review videos of soldering irons and soldering stations you probably know this guy this little board with a wire soldering in it 
This is the board where I test every soldering iron that came to play to, to the workbench. By now I should be almost full in terms of space, but let's see how it handled these big blobs of solder. Okay, we have a soldering iron, let me take it out. It's reaching now the 300 degrees. It will not take... Yeah, it is fast to get there. And the first thing that I will do is start to create a blob here in a non-specific zone to see if I can create a blob. Let's see. Yeah. Well, it seems to solder, to, to melt the solder fast enough. Let's see the other ones that are here. It's not so fast as some of the soldering irons or soldering stations I've tested here. Yeah, let's try to push this up to 400 degrees. Uh, now you start to see something. Okay, if you push this to the full power, it will melt the solder much better, much better. And obviously that will happen because you will spend much power, so no secrets there. But yeah, let's see this one. Okay, it's melting. Again, it's not so fast as some of the USB soldering irons that I tested in the past. But for a cordless uh, soldering iron, I could call it wireless because it, it uses Bluetooth and... Yeah, it seems to, to, to get it in a reasonable, reasonable uh, time. See it here? Yeah. He managed to, to melt the solder of this uh, wire quite fast. Let's see in this one. I have to give them time to melt, but... Yeah, again, this might take a while to melt those large chunks of solder. It's curious, this side was quite fast. Yeah. And it is the same solder. Let's see what happens in this one. It's taking much more time in this side. Yeah, but it's getting there, finally. Okay. We have liquid seen right now. Okay. Again, this is a wireless or cordless soldering iron uh, handle uh, from this station. You have the chance to, to use several. So, yeah, it will do the job. But it will sacrifice the battery a lot if you use the boost function uh, for a long time. So, yeah, it's, it's really a... A trade-off. But all in all, it seems okay. I like to work with this. I think this one will gain uh, a place in my working bench. Really, one of my favorite uh, soldering irons. It's still the... Let me show you. I have it always here at hand. It's the TS-001, uh, TS-101. It's really, it's always near me, even with my Axon uh, soldering station that I love. I love this one, but I have this one always around. Um, and I can say that this little guy might be the general purpose uh, soldering station that will take a place here in the workbench. Okay, very nice. Let's move on and conclude this. Okay, so now it's the time where we will check if the temperature of the soldering iron uh, is 
confirm with the therm uh, thermometer. So let's start by pressing the thermometer. We have here 25 degrees, it's the room temperature. And I will take this out of the soldering station. It's right now heating up uh, to 200 and no, 300 degrees. And let's put some solder here on the tip. Okay. We should have 300 degrees or more or less here on the thermometer. Let me just, yeah, 286. It seems a bit off. Let me take this to 400. Okay, so for 400, it seems to be 20 degrees off. Uh, 18, something like that. Okay, let's go back to 300. Little more solder. Okay, going to 300. The soldering station says that is 300 right now, but we have here a difference of 16, 70 degrees. I believe that this must require calibration. And I don't saw that option in the menu now that I talk about it. But even so, um, yeah, there is something that needs calibration right here. Okay, so since I reviewed recently this thermal imager from Tooltop, I decided to use it to check if the temperature is 300 degrees or not. And it seems it is. We have there on the... Let me just see if I can show you. So here on the screen we have two arrows, the hotspot and the middle of the screen arrow. And if we take the middle of the screen arrow to the top of the, the tip, you can see that we have a temperature of 300 and something, 285, oh damn it. Okay, let's try again. Okay, if you see here on the top of the tip, we can take the arrow to the top of the tip and we can see that it is at 300 and yeah, but I believe this has 300 degrees on the top of the tip. So I have to get another um, thermometer because I think the, that one might not be right. Yeah, pretty cool. So it seems that we really have 300 degrees in this. Moving on. Once again, Miniware created a small and wonderful product. The design works very well and the simple fact that you can use several handles for one station is really something. The station is being sold at Miniware official AliExpress shop for 130, uh, 123 euros or 135 US dollars. Considering that it is a soldering station and the quality that Miniware always put in their products is really acceptable. The cordless or wireless soldering iron idea is not new, but until now the implementations are not really good, or you have too big handles or really cheap and nonsense solutions. By the way, I will test one of those cheap wireless soldering irons real soon. Another big plus for me is the footprint of the soldering iron. So small, but delivers everything you need without taking a lot of space in the workbench. Nowadays, I don't have that issue, but in the previous workbench, yeah, it was a really big issue. The functions in the station are enough to most usage cases and the way it works is pretty easy. I found out really nice the idea that you can have several handles pair with the station. It's not so fast to melt those huge blobs of solder, 
like the all the, uh, the other soldering irons and stations and that I tested in the past, but the solder melt time is good and the cordless option to work is pretty nice, gives you much more freedom in the movements. I am really happy with this miniware product that follows a quality always present in their line of products. Looking for a soldering station? If you consider buying this one, please remember that you can use the affiliate link in the description or the channel access links here on the screen and you'll be helping the channel without paying a cent more. If this video was useful to you in any way, please help me to spread the love and slap that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go on! I have a lot of videos like this for you in the queue. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching until the end and I hope to see you in my next video.